Okay, I'm going to do a uh, raised bed garden update. Been doing these all year long since I first planted or first created the raised bed garden. And now it's October 25th. And this is a bunch of kale in the foreground here. Uh, if you've watched any of the videos at all, then you know that when we planted that and how it started just by basically scattering a little bit of seed on the ground, scratching it with a hoe and watering it. Now, I'm not sure what variety of kale this is. I have the different, more traditional looking kale farther back uh, in, in my raised bed, or not my raised bed, but in the end ground garden over there, and we'll look at that just in a moment. But the thing I was gonna show you is just how robust this is growing in a raised bed garden. And you can see there's some stalks that have been cut off. That's where we come out and we just kind of take scissors and cut the kale off. And there, there are there bugs in them. You can see a few little holes in the leaves. Yes, uh, so we've had a few bugs. And there are some sort of little aphids that are starting to get on the back of the leaves. I cut them and wash them off very thoroughly. I wash them off before I even take them into the house. And I inspect all the leaves. And this kale is very, very good to eat. But yeah, we have had a few little uh, uh, incidents there with, the, with, with some bugs in there. And of course the pumpkins are starting to rot, the ones that I carved last week. But uh, this is how it's done. I'd say the kale now is probably a foot and a half tall. I maybe should go in there and just cut it. My wife thinks I should just go cut it all off and let new growth come up. Maybe I'll do that. But I'm really enjoying just coming out here and getting kale leaves for sandwiches. And we started cooking it in uh, like beans and stuff. Um, and as I should make some big bunch of soup beans last night with kale mixed in it, and it was awesome. Of course, the... Uh, these ferns for the uh, asparagus still trying to let that establish itself this is first year growth on my asparagus and it's done really well i hope i have some really great asparagus starting next year i did not realize that it got these little red berries on it interesting i'm just learning a whole lot this year it's all about just learning and now nikki said some of this is broccoli over here and i think some of it's collards i don't know i don't, I don't see broccoli coming up out of that maybe there is broccoli in there i don't know I'm letting my wife do some of these things. I don't know what she's doing <laughs> with some of them. I actually have, I believe, a cucumber coming up here. This is one that kind of revived itself from when I dug all the uh, stuff up. There's one of the more traditional kale plants you'll see. Nikki just stuck a couple of them in there to see how they grow. Some shard back in behind that. And then over here are the turnip greens. You can see where I've been just picking the turnip greens left and right out of that middle part there. And they're just growing back. And they're really big, nice greens. Uh, excellent, excellent greens to eat. I like to eat them in salads. Over here is the kale we put in the ground. And once again, all I'm doing, now this is just uh, a really poor soil up here on the mountain, I think. It's very rocky. You can see, just look at the, that's what the native soil looks like. And you can see I've took little piles of rocks and stuff out of the ground. It's, I'm not sure what kind of rock you call that, but very rocky. This is where we grew the um, sweet potatoes this year. I just mixed two or three bags of miracle Grow. Uh, garden soil in there and so you can see a lot of miracle grow there that I've mixed into that bit of ground and that kale is coming up really nice and hardy and we got the collards back there behind it so those are our collard greens and those gee those things are a foot and a half tall too and Nikki says she knows just how big to let the heads grow before you start to to eat those we've not had any collards yet but boys are looking nice that's a patch probably about six feet in diameter the uh, the whole little patch is so this has been fun. It's been fun to eat out of this garden, to watch it grow, to grow all the different things. Here we are in toward the, uh, you know, of course, I guess middle of autumn or well, sort of beginning of autumn, I guess. 25th of October. And uh, the new additions to our little garden area, of course, are the grapes. And they seem to be doing okay. I've got to string them up. I've got to put one more pole on the ground right here. And I'm gonna have four poles, three grapevines and we're trying to baby those little suckers and let them uh, really bring us some grapes in the future. We hope they grow and, and prosper really well. Uh, this, all along with the blueberry bushes there in front of the, uh, that run along where the hammock is. And that was my gardening efforts for this year. Blueberries in the first year came up and were great. I thought they were awesome. Enjoyed eating the blueberries. There weren't a whole lot, but we're expecting more this year. And so there you go. I'm gonna, maybe in the spring, this is God willing, if we have enough money, there will be a second raised bed garden to go alongside this one. I would like to have one kind of going on this side over here that I am of the uh, blueberries. So here are the blueberries and let this kind of run along in here. 
So I'm gonna be raised bed garden guy, hopefully. These things, it wasn't inexpensive to do this. I've mentioned in previous videos, I spent about a thousand bucks for the blocks, for the gravel to put down to kind of uh, seed it all on. By that I mean, you know, getting it all leveled up the best I could. I actually ground the dirt away, the grass away with a, uh, with a tiller. And then I put down a layer of pea gravel and then I set the rocks on top of that. Uh, but before all that, I put uh, um, sort of the landscape felt, a couple layers of it on the very bottom so the grass wouldn't grow up. I bought some topsoil from a local top, uh, you know, home and garden type place. Put the topsoil in up until about probably the last five or six inches. Then mixed topsoil with miracle Grow uh, garden soil. And so the miracle Grow garden soil is what is in the ground there that everything is growing just like crazy out of. So... I'm a big endorser of miracle Grow garden soil. Uh, it's done well for me. And so that's our update. Better go back in the house and get ready for work.